Okay, now, I know you're gonna say, oh, I'm tired, again the same problem. Yes, again the same problem, because you don't have to do it three times, but I'm gonna show you what happened, and all the, 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 the tricks that you can take advantage of. We did this, the first one, and we assumed nothing was happening. I call this the longest method, because it is the longest method. We said, okay, I'm gonna assume that I'm gonna lock and unlock, and unlock every joint, every time, so I'm not gonna, assume that this is even a pin when I locked it. I know it's a pin, I know the final moment should be zero, but I'm gonna assume that I don't know anything. I'm not gonna modify any K, I'm not gonna modify any carry on factor. And we did this problem and we got this value. <coughs> now, I solve it again using this. And then in this case, we use the modify K factor only because we said, okay, the part end is a hinge or pin and in the introductory video, I demonstrated to you, or I derived, a formula for that modified K, which was 3 fourth I over L, instead of being the regular I over L that we always use. And then the carry-on factor uh, change, uh, I mean, no, no, the carry-on factor, no, the transmission factor, or the, yeah, the carry-on factor, that's the name, uh, it changed, which by the way, uh, I, I, I didn't calculate here, you see that, I say now I'm realizing I put carry-on factor, this is not carry-on factor, this is distribution, distribution factor here anyway. Okay, it doesn't matter. The carry-on factor here changes because once, I'm assuming this far end is zero here, and it's a pin, and I'm using the modified fixed moments also, then I have nothing to send or nothing to send back from that support. So once you're here, these values, they already take into account that nothing is gonna be sent in that direction. And I got this value. Now I'm gonna use the third method, which is the fastest method, because we are taking advantage of everything. First, we're taking advantage, advantage of the modified K, modified K, for far and pin bar and pin, meaning the K for A, B, C, D, E, F, G, the K for here, the K for here is still A, I over 20, theoretically. The K over here is gonna change. So this K is gonna be 3 fourth K, A, B, it's gonna be 3 fourth of L, uh, I divided by L, that's uh, what it is. So it's going to be 3, 4, 15, 15, I, 3 divided by 60, 1 divided by 20, or I divided by 20. That's the K for AB. Now we're gonna use another possibility. And we are gonna use also the fixed end moment. Fixed end moment for BC, the fixed moment for BC is gonna be the same WL squared divided by 12, and we did it, and that value was 133.3 for that. And the fixed moment, fixed end moment for BA, we also did it, we're using this modified fixed moment and for BA it was negative 60 and we calculated that before also because it's far end is pinned so we are we are allowed to introduce this new fixed end moment but now we're gonna do something else now we're gonna use symmetry symmetry now, if you have a structure that is symmetric in both geometry and also loading, then we can make use of symmetry and use some of the modified symmetry factors that I derived before, that I showed you before. Um, they are not here, but they are in the other one that I, that I printed out here, here, in this one. 
is the far when you take when you take use of symmetry here symmetric being unloading that k that particular k can be modified as i divided by 2l instead of i divided by l and this is what we are going to do and we are going to solve only half of that but the l refers to the total l okay be careful with that so for symmetry because of symmetry the k of uh, this span bc is going to be i divided by 2l by l being 20 feet so it's going to be i divided by 2 times 20 it's going to be i divided by 40. by using the the far end hinge here we already reduced that to that now if we calculate the distribution factors i know the distribution factor a b is zero even though the carry on factor is going to be zero i know the fixed end moment for that is zero we already calculate that and the distribution factor for b a b a is going to be the k for b a and the k for b a is i divided by 20 divided by the summation of i divided by 20 and i divided by 40 And that value is 0 0.6. So the distribution factor for BC is going to be I divided by 40 divided by I divided by 20 plus I divided by 40. I divided by 40 is this K. Let me put that K over there. I divided by I'm gonna I'm gonna put it here like I divided by 2L which is i divided by 40 k equals and in this case i'm going to put k equal 3 divided 3i three divided by 4l which is 1 divided by 20 or i divided by 20 and this is 0 0.3 once we have that just look at this distribution factor one like I need it I don't need it for anything BA BA 0.6 and BC 0.3 okay fixed end moment zero fixed end moment here negative 60 fixed end moment here 133 0.3 look for the unbalanced joint the only one that I'm analyzing actually is this one so what is the difference the difference is 133.3 minus 60 is 73.3 I need to subtract 73.3 multiply that by that times 0.6666666 that's negative 48.8 and here is going to be negative 24.4 this is lock is done this is not transmitted anywhere because there's nothing this is the half of the beam this is like if it's like that there's nothing to be transmitted to and this is not transmitting anything here because we are use you are using the modified carry all factors and the modified inertia uh, k and the modified uh, fixed moment so that means that the only balancing that I have to do is this, negative 108.8 and 108.8. And the problem is done. Now, of course, if you want to just come back here, you know this is going to be negative 108.8, 108.8, and 0, because of symmetry. That's it. Nothing else. If you want to do your your beans that you always do then you're gonna put this you're gonna put that like that keep going keep going the loads are coming here and then you put your moments what moments this is negative 108 positive 108 negative 108 I don't cut this because now I'm showing the whole beam and 108.8 and then you put your loads you 
your shear, and so for your nose. Don't. Now look at the difference. Take advantage of everything that you can. But in order to do that, you have to go read the book. There's a bunch of people that do not want to read books or literature. Go and read it. Try to understand what they say because it's extremely, extremely, extremely important. Forget about Solution Manual and those sites that put the solutions online because that is creating a dystrophia in your mind. You have to know why you are doing what you are doing, not just plugging and shogging numbers in one and repeating a procedure that you found somewhere in some problem. Stay safe, guys. Keep watching. Have a good day.